part, it's important to communicate with the patient. Put in your mind that the power, you measure the power against resistance. So the, communica the communication with the patient is very important. We have four movements in the hip, two movements in the knee, two movements in the ankle, and two movements in the tarsal joint. So now we will start with the hip. In the hip, four movements. We have flexion, extension, abduction, and adduction. Flexion, what do you want to do? You need to ask your patient to raise the leg up and resist your movement. So please, can you raise your leg up? Don't let me to push it down, okay? Yeah, up, strong, excellent, okay? So this is flexion. And the other side also, can you please raise it up? And, and that's it. So the most important thing, you need to resist the power from the thigh. Okay, now for the extension. You need to put your hand below the, uh, the thigh, then uh, ask the patient um, to do the movement. So please don't let me to raise it up, okay? Excellent. Don't let me to raise it up, so keep it in the bed, okay? Excellent, other, other side, same, okay? Excellent, so now we finish with the flexion and the extension. For the abduction and the abduction, we start with the abduction. You need to uh, put your hand here and ask the patient to separate it. So please, can you separate your leg? Okay, this is for the abduction. And the, for the abduction, you need to put your hand in the inner thigh and ask the patient to keep it closed. So keep it closed. Okay, don't let me to open. Excellent. So now we finish with the hip movement. Now we'll go to the knee. In the knee, we have a flexion and the extension. For the flexion, ask the patient to flex the knee. Now, keep it in this position. Don't let me to raise it up, okay? The most important thing, you need to support the knee and try to straighten it. Excellent. This is for the flexion for this side. and the other side, again, you need to, don't let me to straighten it uh, with the supporting the knee. Come on, thank you. Now for the extension, as I say, flex the knee and ask the patient to straight the leg and again, support the knee. So I want you to straight the leg again. Yes, excellent. And the other side, same support, straight the leg. Thank you. Now for the ankle. In the ankle, we have two movement. We have dorsiflexion, uh, sorry, we have plantar flexion and we have dorsiflexion. For the dorsiflexion, you need to ask the patient to raise the foot up. So please, can you move the foot up? Okay, طيب, don't let me to push it down and support the ankle like this. And the other side again, up. Excellent. This is for the dorsiflexion. And the, for the plantar flexion, can you please put the foot down with the fingers? Yes, don't let me to raise it up. Excellent. And the other side also. For the tarsal joint, in the tarsal joint we have e inversion and e virgin. So you want your patient to put the foot like this. It is inversion position. So please keep it like this and resist from inside. And now, yes, keep it in the e virgin position and don't let me to put it inside. Excellent.